and welcome back to RC Icons. So in this video, the second half of a trade. So this box is from Rude. Yeah, I can't call it Rud Rude. That's how it's pronounced in the Netherlands. Rude in the United States, or in the English language, is not good. So I can't call my friend Rude. <laughs> I'm going to call him Rud, even though it's the wrong pronunciation. So Rudd had reached out to me uh, a couple weeks ago. Hey, you know that uh, racing buggy, buggy champ, new unbox re-re kit that you won on Bai a couple months ago? I'm like, yeah. He's like, do you still have it? I'm like, yeah. He's like, how about a trade? And I was like, what are you thinking? So he starts showing me some more Carrera RC cars that he had just finished restoring and I love those things so I was like yeah I mean the that kit I had bought and just because it, I had gotten a good deal on it so I was fine with holding on to it and or whatever doing whatever with it at whatever point so let's bring the camera over and we'll start getting into the box but there's two cars in here and i told him he didn't have to send two i was fine with just one and he could even pick the, the one of the two but red being red he sent two so let's get the camera over we'll get into this these cars are epic awesome so this gets me now i've got four carreras at this point so super super cool and those things are so different and so so many people have like never seen them before that I think it intrigues a lot of the viewers. So enough chit chat. Let's get the camera. All right, let's get into this thing. So I'm not aware of any off-road cars Carrera has done. The only ones I've seen like in the the brochures and stuff that he's sent me have been all on-road. So both of these are on-road, obviously. I recognize this box. I think this is the box I sent him the racing buggy in. One of my old Baye boxes. Wow, they're in boxes and everything. So cool. All right, I'm gonna make this like make our life a little bit easier here. Let's get this one over here. And this one over here. One of them has all Carrera running gear in it, and it works. We got a radio. He sent me a video of it running. Oh. I'm not a professional. No, I'm not. Boom. All right. Can I tell which one this is? Yeah. All right. So yeah, this one, I believe it's this one, has all Carrera original running gear, and it still works, which is absolutely insane. It's the BMW 112th. Super neat. So this one, it's an original body, and it wasn't painted yet. <laughs> and he's like, do you want me to paint it? And I'm like, yep. <laughs> I didn't even hesitate. Um... Because I, you know, I've got so many projects already. I just don't have a ton of time to be messing around with paint and everything else. So a couple of foamy tires. And he always does an awesome job. So I'm fine with him just handling it. So this is fresh paint on an original body. And from what I hear... The body is extremely brittle. Look at that thing. Wow. That's insane. It's a 112th scale. They did some awesome, awesome cars. So these are MCI decals that he had sized down to make this work. So he had the body... But he didn't have any decals for it. And, uh, of course, you know, the box art has the number 11 on it and everything else. So, 
he just made made whatever he could work with what he could get. Which is great. I'm I'm extremely happy. I mean that goes straight into the collection just like that, right? So there's your body shell. A couple of light scratches on it here and there, but overall, man, it looks awesome. Extremely happy, Rudd. Thank you. You always do great work. I mean, even the windows still look pretty clear. So this has the slider style mechanical speed control in it. These, these chassis have so much flex in them. <laughs> Plastic flat chassis. So it's got assuming that's the receiver your Carrera receiver motor it's open diff right so there is a diff front wheel drive it's got Carrera servos and uh, and all of this works so I'm not sure what kind of plug that is. That's an old school. I think he had powered it up with four AA batteries. So there are four AA's here that probably power the receiver in the back. But there should be some kind of a battery pack there. And then all the tools, the toolkit, old Carrera tools. So friggin' cool. And then I'll show you the radio real quick. It's a two st dual stick. This just takes you back. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So if you guys remember that kit, it's the Rough Rider Riri, Racing Buggy Buggy Champ, I think is what it's called. And uh, I think I paid $179 for it, new unbox kit. I brought it in, I showed it on the channel, talked about why I didn't know I bought it. Like, why I don't, I don't know why I bought it, I just kind of thought it was cheap. But then when you figure the shipping, it's probably about what you would pay on eBay or somewhere local. Which wasn't a big deal, it was just like, whatever. Um, but he really wanted it, so he's like, would you be willing to trade one of the Carrera cars for it? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, well, how about if I give you two? And I'm like, well, you don't have to give me two, just give me one. You know, I didn't pay a lot for that kit. So it's got a storage compartment for the antenna on the side. I'm like, just give me one. Um, and he started getting into like what he paid for him. Um, I didn't really care, you know what I mean? It wasn't, it wasn't about the money for me. It was about getting him the kit he wanted. And in the end, wow, that's a long antenna. So Carrera radio. So how cool is that? Just so neat, right? Man, 1980s. These were made in Germany, by the way, the, uh, the Carrera company was all out of Germany and I have had some people ask me like you know where they're from and I honestly didn't know but they are yeah they are from Germany six double A's this works <laughs> it's crazy that all this radio gear still works that car works everything works um, and it's all Carrera gear it makes it that much cooler so I said, Rod, do what you want. I'm fine with just a BMW or I'm fine with the other car. You guys haven't seen it yet. I'm like, you don't have to give them both to me. He's like, oh, well, you know, I just want it to be a fair deal. I'm like, it's fair. You know what I paid for that kit? Well, Rod being Rod, he sent them both. <laughs> like, and I'm, whatever, I'm fine with it. Now we have four of them to display. 
This is the Porsche 924 Jägermeister. Sweet. So this one's one tenth, I believe. Yeah, one tenth. It's crazy. We have all the boxes. Holy crap. Look at this thing, guys. Wow. This is an original body, obviously. Nobody does, I don't think anyone does re re bodies for. Uh, I don't think anyone does reproduction bodies for Structro or uh, Carrera stuff. Look at that body. It's gorgeous. So nice. I think this is original decal too. He had gotten one that was in really good shape, like never run, and then he got a new in box. So I think he kept the new in box, and then uh, this may have been the other one. So it's got the manual, right? They did a bunch of cars. They did more cars. I thought they only did four or five. They did way more than that, right? Shows all the different chassis, the cars. There's my Transpo diesel. The coolest one so far is definitely the uh, Capri with it being motor on wheel. <laughs> That's just out of control. Everything's in German. I told him, I said, you're sending me down a rabbit hole with these. I'm going to end up wanting them all. He was laughing. So I'm not even going to take that apart. So this is, what does this got? This has a diff in the back. Probably just helps for steering or turning. And then it's got a diff in the front, open diff, just like the other one. Uh, front wheel drive on this one. But you can probably, yeah, see, so that's it. So you can set this up rear wheel drive if you want. You can take this motor and you can plop it in the back. When that's what Structro is pretty known for or you can run this thing dual motor you can have a motor in the back and motor in the front and run dual motor um but they're kind of known for um making these cars do whatever the end user wants right so it's like tamia is doing it now with the mb01 and stuff where you can set it up front wheel drive real wheel drive um and structro or Carrera has been doing it since the 80s. So slider style, mechanical speed control, no steering servo in here. Steering's not set up. It just needs a bar from here to here and then from here to wherever the servo is. Foam tires. I know he was looking for tires. These are probably the ones he was wondering if F1 tires would work, but he ended up finally sourcing some. So super, super cool. These cars are just next level. Give you one more look with the body on. So not really a donation, more of a trade, but he definitely uh, gave me more than I gave him. So thanks, Rudd. I appreciate it, as always. And uh, you have certainly... I had had no Structros without you, Structro. I had no Carreras without you, and now I've got four, and they're all because of you. So thank you, I appreciate it. So look at this thing, right? Look how clear those windows are. It's an original body from the 19, early 80s. Absolutely gorgeous. The tires and wheels fit the wheel wells, nice. Just beautiful. Like, look at that thing. That body's, whatever, 40 years old, you know? 1 12th scale and 1 10th scale. Just gorgeous. Oh, man, those are going to look good in the cabinets. I can't wait. Let me move the camera over for a closing. Absolutely insane. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Absolutely gorgeous cars. Rod, I can't thank you enough for the deal. If you ever want to do another trade, just let me know. <laughs> Oh, man.
gorgeous stuff. You guys will have to let me know in the comments what you think of the new Carreras. Super, super cool. If you're not already a subscriber, I'd ask you to consider subscribing to support the channel. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you think. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh, until next time, we'll see you soon. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs>